What's going on everybody? Today we're talking charging, specifically the Ford F-150 Lightning charging and a couple cool options for your home if you're looking to charge, but really any EV other than a Tesla, heck even a Tesla if you want to check out some adapters. So we got a lot to talk about specifically around my new friends at Electron and their home EV charging boxes. Uh, we're going to take a look at these two that I have here today and a couple other their products. And not only that, Right when we come back, we're going to talk about how you can win one of these boxes totally free. Let's do this. So that's right. I'm just, Electron has given me two boxes now and I have moved and I am now waiting for my electric truck to come in. I just ordered an F-150 Lightning a couple uh, weeks ago. Might not be here for a couple months. So I'm holding off on, well, deciding which one I want to install and also uh, just doing it. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, my panel's right there. My garage is right there. It won't take long. Um but long story short, I'm going to go ahead and I believe this brand new unit, the new V-Box from Lectron, uh, which is the nicer of the two, I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it away. Um, I apologize if I change my mind and end up giving this away. They're both awesome units, so don't get me wrong. Or maybe I'll let the winner decide. We'll, we'll cross that road later. But long story short, no purchase necessary. Let's talk about this part of the thing first. So I have a link down in the description to just totally give this away. I have an end date here of December 1st. So I will link this in every video I do from now until then in hopes to just give uh, people to get a lot of opportunities to enter this. This will be promoted in all my uh, YouTube videos for the next little bit. And the way that the giveaway works is actually kind of cool. So I have a couple options in there. You can like, um, first you submit, that's worth like two entries or something like that. Um, and then if you go subscribe to my YouTube channel, that's 10 entries. If you go visit Lectron's homepage, that's another 10 entries. If you, I don't know, I, I've, follow me on Twitter, stupid things like that are worth a couple more entries here and there. So you have a chance to win up to like 30 entries to, to win one of these, which is really cool. I think it's great. Uh, I, I've never been able to give back to you guys. So I'm really, really just uh, super excited. Uh, let me do a quick story of how I'm in this situation. Lectron sent me this unit first to review. I did a short review on my channel and they're like, we'd love for you to install it and show it working. And I was like, me too. And I, I just kind of explained to them that I, I have not fully moved in yet. And I don't have my electric car yet. I sold my Tesla, so I don't have an electric car right now. Um, and they said, all right, well, we're, how about instead we send you another unit, you review that. And uh, long story short, I'm going to give one away. I'm going to talk all about this. And then later on, I'm going to be installing these. I'm going to be talking charge stats. So stick around if you're interested in learning more about these wall chargers. Like the build quality is already checking all the boxes. It's really cool stuff. So let's talk about the units, right? Also, what do you feel about this super wide angle view? You can see just how... Um, unfinished my basement is. I, I installed these stupid panels I got from uh, my local Menards and I just kind of screwed them in the wall thinking I'd do shots where you can't see what you can see here. So um, someday it'll, I'll, I'll have the motivation to finish this basement. Um, probably <laughs> we'll, we'll see what comes first, the motivation to finally install my chargers or, or to finish the basement. Anyway, that's not why you're here. So a recap of this unit, which has a lot of features and why I really like it. So here's why, first of all, let me step back. The reason why I like both of these is because they use a NEMA 1450 outlet as its core. There's no hard wiring the unit in, which to me, it just makes it easier if you have multiple chargers, maybe you own a Tesla and a uh, standard J17 plug, so a Tesla and a Ford or something, um, and you wanna ping pong between chargers, things like that, it makes it easy because once you have your NEMA 1450, or maybe you already have one in your garage, all you gotta do is, staying on um you know what we're not taking it off <laughs> all you have to do is plug this 1450 outlet in and that's the as far as the installation goes other than actually just hanging the unit and of course it comes with um i won't totally open this because i'm probably giving some parts away but oops. 
but it comes with everything you need to mount it. You got your, this is to hang some charging cable. This is to hang up the actual port, which is cool. This guy right here. And the installation's super easy. And then this guy over here, same exact thing. Same 1450 NEMA outlet. You can probably see that in the shot. However, the biggest difference off the bat, if you're wondering, is this is the 48 amp model. It comes in a 40 model and a 48 amp model. <clears throat> so you're gonna have thicker gauged wire here. It's gonna charge faster. It's gonna use the full potential of your outlet, which is pretty cool. Um, now, stay. Both of these are weather sealed, um, lightning proof it says, which is awesome. Uh, they have intelligent chips to make sure if there's errors that it can self correct. Um, as I mentioned, this is the 48 amp outlet, which is interesting because I believe a NEMA 1450 maxes at 50. And as one of you commenters told me, I didn't know this, there's a built-in uh, buffer, which means it usually doesn't even give off that full 50 amp potential. So I would keep in mind that even though this is 48, it might not actually hit that 48 number. Maybe you can comment and let me know if I'm missing something there. Um, but as I mentioned, it also comes in a 40 amp model too. Um, and what's cool about all of Electron's products, you can choose um, different adapters of, of what kind of outlet you are going into. So you can choose that off from the website. Um, and then you can also choose uh, often 40 to 48 amp. And not only that, the V-Box, for instance, it has four different modes that you can self-select it to. So yeah, from there's a dial in here. When you install it, it can go uh, 48 amp, 40 amp, 40 amp, 32 amp, 24 amp, and 16 amp. If you want to uh, install this and not use the full potential, maybe you have a smaller breaker, you don't want to overload and, and keep blowing fuses or something, uh, you can go ahead and do that at the time of installation. Anyway, moving on, I do wanna talk about this unit a little bit more because it has a feature that I was obsessed with when I did my first review. It has a built-in RFID security system. Um, this may also, although it's a very new product and there's really not that much literature out on it, I have to contact um, Electron still, I'll update it in a future video if it has this feature, but what Electron has told me with this one anyway, is you can actually, let's say you are an employer. You, you have a small business and you have a couple employees and you wanna encourage electric cars there. Maybe you have an electric car and you wanna have this public for your employees, but you don't want just anyone to be able to use it. Well, it can be uh, RFID encrypted, which means you can give out RFID cards, bracelets, or anything that or keychain even to your employees and then therefore to get it to work, they just have to scan their RFID and then use it, which means strangers aren't going to come steal your energy bill and you can still maybe have a benefit to your employees, which I think is an awesome thing. Or even if you just want electric or extra security at your house, I mean, it'd be a pretty bold move to just go up to someone dri someone's driveway and start charging. But hey, maybe if you want that extra layer of security, you could use it there too. Um, something really cool that Electron does that really caught my eye. I think it's just an awesome feature. Again, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm, since this is their newest version, it'd be hard to believe that this doesn't have it as well. So the biggest upgrade here too is the, the display, the upgraded look, and it is beefy. I mean, they've got this thicker gauge wire, which I think is because it's the 48 amp model, but it looks nice. You got 20 feet of cable, um, which is another plus if you wanna maybe have the unit inside, but uh, I know for instance, I we've got two big cars in the family. We got a truck and an SUV, and I can't fit both of them in the garage. So I keep my truck parked outside. I'm gonna want the cable to be able to reach both in the garage and out of the garage. So a 20 foot cable is a must. Um, but these are the things you can still choose with every model of their uh, units. I know it sounds too, I should disclaimer, like I'm being paid by Electron or anything. 
I'm not, I will, I, I, as I told you, these were given to me. So, I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> I can't not be a fan of them for sending me these chargers, but they're proven. Go ahead and look up some reviews. A lot of people love these chargers. They're, they're, I'm not just saying this is what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to be unbiased. They are both level two chargers, um, which should be more than obvious at this point of the video. And they're affordable. That's my final thing to talk about is even if you don't win and you're interested in a charger, I really recommend you look into these. Ford is charging $500 for their mobile connector. <clears throat> so talking about the Ford Lightning in particular, and not only that, let's talk about the Ford standard range, because as you already know, the extended range models, they, they come with a really nice charger. And I mean, sure, you have to pay a couple of grand to get it installed. It's still a really nice charger, and I recommend just going with it. You already are getting the unit, you're paying for it, so install it. But for everyone on the standard range battery, you pro buyers, you XLT buyers, hey, maybe even the Mach-E audience, you're, you're listening to me. So um, let's start with the most expensive one that you can buy, the Ford Connected Charge Station. Now that's very similar to this. It's 48 amp and so the exact same as this unit. And also I think that one's hardwired in, so it might end up getting you a little extra juice than this guy but it's also almost twice as much. It's $800 and it's really hard to find. Like it's hard to buy. Like it's, I can't, you can't just go in and buy it. You got to contact a dealer. Um, there's some people reselling it. So maybe you'll be able to find it that way if you really want it. But long story short, it's hard to find. <coughs> and it's like this, this unit here is between 400 and, uh, maybe like 450, depending on if you get like a longer cable, a different outlet here. Um, so half the price almost. And then there's what Ford is now charging $500 for still more expensive than this unit. And it's the mobile charger, which, um, I guess has its pros because you could just use your home outlet, like a standard home outlet. You could still plug it into there, or you can swap out to one of these NEMA connectors and get up to 32 amps out of it. And now that's pretty good. Honestly, if you don't want to, I mean, you'd still have to install the, the NEMA receptacle in your garage either way. So if you're doing that already, why not go for something big and save a couple hundred bucks, right? So I really recommend considering one of these units if you're about to buy a lightning or even a mach -E, instead of paying five hundred dollars for this mobile connector which don't even forget electron also makes mobile units too so you could probably get this and their mobile charger for maybe even like just fifty dollars more than what ford is charging for their mobile connector so keep that in mind and, and that's kind of why I'm so excited about this and why it seems like a no-brainer to me. Um, not only that, this unit, which as I mentioned, has the RFID features. Uh, now this is also only gonna give me 32 amps, but as I mentioned earlier, like yes, it, this is the exact same as that Ford Station Pro, but this is only like $350 and it's a level two unit. So that looks pretty cool. And it has all the other features that I mentioned earlier, like the RFID reader. So I think that's also really important. Like I mentioned, you could get this and a mobile connector from Lectron for you know the exact same price that Ford's now charging. I'm just so upset that Ford's charging $500 for that stupid connector. Um, it should be free. It really should, Ford, come on, come on. In their defense, I do think Tesla is now charging for their connector too. What have we come to? Like, it's work it into the price. I mean, who wants to buy a vehicle? I mean, maybe it's because more and more people have units like this in their garage already, but it bugs me that they're charging for these things. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this here just as kind of a quick intro to this competition, really, or this uh, raffle, this giveaway I'm doing. Um, I'm really stoked on these units, and I can't wait to give one away to you guys because, as I mentioned, like I'm so grateful for all the subscribers I already have, everyone who watches these videos, and this is the first time I get to give back in a little way, and if it goes well, we'll continue doing stuff like this, so I'm super excited about it. And with that, I, I give you a true thank you for watching this video, and I hope to to hear from you guys soon and please enter and best of luck thank you guys so much bye guys